look at how this plays back home. Penny Wong accused Scott Morrison of playing domestic politics with this in 2018. Correct. But there might be a bit of domestic politics being played by her as well. What are the benefits at home for this policy, do you think, David? Well, firstly, let me say that I, I think that some of her criticisms of Scott Morrison uh, are valid. Uh, it was handled very badly by former Prime Minister Scott Morrison. He raised it um, during the Wentworth by-election. It was seen as a bit of a political stunt to try to appeal to the voters of Wentworth, which has a significant Jewish community, as you know. And then he came out with this decision of recognising what is really a non-existent entity um, called West Jerusalem. I mean, there is Jerusalem. There is no uh, East and West. And for nearly all of its 3,000 years, that's been the case. So it's, her criticisms are valid. And Scott Morrison had a policy that's a bit akin to being half pregnant. Uh, now, what her motivations are for undoing it, um, making the announcement during a Jewish high holiday and two weeks before the next election in Israel is really weird timing. It's really odd. Uh, I can't ascribe logic to it. But, but uh, domestically, well, I mean, if she's trying to appeal to, for example, the uh, Muslim uh, um, vote. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, what, I mean, have, do they, are, outnumber, they outnumber uh, the Jewish vote in Australia, don't they? By, by at least six to one. Um, there are roughly 100,000 um, Jews in Australia and a bit over 600,000 Muslims. So if you're playing the pure politics and you want to consolidate um, say, a vote in certain electorates in Western Sydney and uh, um, Northwestern Melbourne, um, then this is probably a, a policy which would have appeal in, in those electorates. It might be as simple as that, um, Fred. I, I think that has to be brought, brought out with some pretty uh, pointed questioning in Parliament and Senate estimates. I think so. I mean, it, it's it's always dangerous to suggest that any politician is playing to any particular ethnic group because we are all right. Australians. Anyway, uh, we'll get we'll get back to that some other time. Just quickly before you go, David, we've only got a few seconds left. Penny Wong seems to think she has a clear view of the path to peace in the Middle East. Do you think she has? Uh, absolutely not. Um, uh, look, what what she's proposing is essentially like uh, the Gaza experiment. Israel withdrew from Gaza um, and it's become uh, not a peaceful area, which was why Israel withdrew as a gesture for peace, but rather it was taken over by a jihadist terrorist group called Hamas and there's also a significant presence of Palestinian Islamic Jihad. A polling shows that if there was the opportunity in Judea Samaria, which some call the West Bank, then uh, Hamas would gain control there as well. We would end up with another um, terrorist failed state. And this is what uh, Michael Danby and others were on. Uh, before we take this step, let's get in place um, some proper conditions that would at least give it a chance of being a peaceful outcome. So. Um, what Penny Wong has done is actually set back the peace process. Um, she is rewarding those who have been belligerent, who are ignoring the reality, which is that Israel has a capital city called Jerusalem. And rather than um, progress uh, um, peace, um, those that want to fight for an unrealistic objective have been rewarded.